today i want to talk to you guys about the use of ground tackle especially in the case where the vessel has been beached all right so ground tackle and beaching of vessel is the topic for today's video so i'll start with the ground tackle where i'll also show you a couple of diagrams that i've drawn to explain what a ground tackle is and how it is rigged to refloat the vessel or to prevent the accidental refloating of the vessel if the vessel has beached or grounded so ground tackle rigs is probably the greatest single factor in aiding the reflotation of the vessel if the vessel has experienced any kind of grounding or stranding or breaching it also prevents vessel from further grounding below is a diagram where i have shown you how the vessel lays out its anchor cables as a ground tackle rig the ground tackle rig as you will see is laid out in the direction in which the refloating seems most beneficial so you can see that the green line here denotes the shore side and the ground tackle has been laid towards the water side or towards the sea towards which the vessel will be refloated the measurements and the types of wire ropes and anchor cables and the length of each has been specified in the diagram at this stage you may pause the video and make a note of this diagram and use it for your notes towards exam preparation the laying of the ground tackle towards the direction in which the refloating seems most beneficial means the laying out of anchor carefully planned at considerable distances from the ship and connected to her by heavy wire hoses perhaps also using some length of her anchor chain cable heavy purchases from the derrick are then attached to the gear often securing the second to the hauling part of the first this gives a final velocity ratio equal to the product of the two separate velocity ratios and obviously the mechanical advantages are also multiplied together as you can see here if derricks are available on the ship then the ground tackle are used in combination which provides the advantage or rather the mechanical advantage of two individual purchases when rigged together for the purposes of the ground tackle again you can see that the ground tackle here is laid out towards the sea towards which the vessel will be refloated the dimensions of the wires and the anchor chains and cables and the weight of the anchor chains are provided or shown in the diagram below the gear is set up tight and either hove on or left tight to avoid the enormous forces which will be generated in the gear by a rising tide or an onshore swell of the sea now a ground tackle is rigged when a vessel has been beached a beaching of a vessel also refers to the intentional grounding of the vessel where a vessel may be beached bow on or stern on whichever method is chosen ground tackle should be rigged to keep her seaward and steady and to stop her from driving further ashore equally she should be secured to the shore to prevent her coming off unexpectedly if the vessel has been beached stern on she has the advantage of presenting her stronger and finer end to the forces of onshore sea and weather further her anchors are ready for easy laying and later heaving they can be carried out direct from the hose pipes and stressed by the wind loss of the anchor as you could see in the diagram above in fact her anchors and cables could be well laid out while making her approach to the beach provided the beach is firm and free from rocks the propellers and rudder will be unharmed but her impact of course must be as gentle as possible stern sections in this case may be choked in this position 
to prevent any silting or of the vessel or the pumps drawing in any mud or silt however if the vessel has beached bow on her vulnerable or more buoyant end is exposed to sea and weather to keep the stern quiet ground tackle must be laid out from the aft of the vessel now this is a laborious task when done after beaching but the vessel could well be anchored from aft as she makes her approach i hope this video was useful for you guys to learn about the ground tackle and its use and the purposes for which it is used and the conditions or the circumstances it may be used to refloat the vessel it was also helpful i hope for you to learn on the complications when the vessel beaches either bow on or stern on thank you